Kenya's fishing industry contributes about 0.5% of the national GDP, yet the fish value chain is highly fragmented and decentralized. This, coupled with post-harvest losses, is the reason a Kenyan entrepreneur started Keep It Cool, a venture offering technology-enabled solutions to the fish industry to improve quality assurance and provide access to markets. Edward Chwea tells us more on this week's Made in Kenya. Made in Kenya, brought to you by Equity. Are you members of a chama and are running a business? Achieve your business goals through Pamoja Group Loan of up to 10 million shillings. No collateral required. You will also receive free financial and entrepreneurship training. Visit any Equity Bank branch to apply. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization estimates that at least 27% of our vested fish is lost due to poor handling, transportation and packaging. This is the gap Francis Nderitu saw and founded Keep It Cool, a venture using technology to handle fish from the lake to the plate. We officially started uh, the commercialization of products by March of 2020, like two weeks just before COVID. We came about with this solution where we have aggregated uh, fish and our cooling services and also on the other hand try to give market access uh, to fisher folks who ordinarily will not be able to access the distant markets like Nairobi. Keep It Cool has refrigerated trucks that transport the fish from the lakes to the city, prepares and keeps them in freezers. They then reach out to potential customers through Marketu, an online platform where orders are made. By doing that, we provide distant market now to these uh, fisher folks in these uh, rural um, areas um, around our inland uh, lakes. We have signed MOUs with four BMUs in Lake Victoria, two BMUs uh, in Lake uh, Trucana. Uh, for the fish farms, uh, we have a, a, a contract that we sign with them. So we provide these cooling services to them on a lease basis. Keep It Cool has employed at least 30 full-time employees and 25 more on a part-time basis. Chris Thuku is in charge of quality control. Our fish is mostly tilapia and nile patch. For the tilapia, we bring it here for gutting and descaling. For the nile patch, we do filleting. After the fish arrives here, we check for quality assurance. That's what we check for the freshness of the fish and how good it is for our consumers. Also, we have chicken, which is sourced locally from counties around Nairobi. How do you make yourself known out there, and how do you make sure that you stand out from the rest? Our biggest competition is the informal sector. Uh, so the difference that we set is that our standard operating procedures are very thorough to make sure that there is zero um, exposure to contamination, uh, the product is handled in the right way, the product is sorted, Convenience is very, very important, so we deliver to them. Number two is the pricing, is quite, quite, quite affordable. Number three is the cooling. We provide free cooling solutions to our customers. Neretu says so far, a number of customers, both big and small, have come on board and are accessing Keep It Cool services through the online platform. This has seen him venture into the chicken business as well. With the current BMUs that we support have a total membership of 5,000 uh, fisher folks. We also support about 105 uh, poultry farms and uh, uh, fish farms. And um, yeah, in terms of the distribution side, we have slightly over 1,000 uh, customers. But the customers mainly are uh, businesses, small businesses, uh, from Vibanda to Easy Restaurants Ndogo, to restaurants Easy Sasa Kubwa Kidogo, now to the big chains of restaurants, and also supermarkets and butcheries. So we have a new finance act in place. How is this going to affect you as a business person? How do you think this is going to affect your business? It's affecting both our internal environment and external environment. Internal because the cost of doing business will be slightly higher than uh, we had really planned. We are likely to see capital flight. No. High taxation means that the business is not going to grow at the rate that is anticipated to grow. And therefore their returns are likely to be less. Edward Chwea, Made in Kenya. Citizen TV. Made in Kenya. Brought to you by Equity. Are you members of a Chama and require financial boost for your business? Get Pamoja Group loan of up to 10 million shillings at any Equity branch. You will also receive free financial and entrepreneurship training on how to manage your business. Achieve your business goals with Pamoja Group loan.